Richard Frosty Hessen has been surfing the Northern California waters for 50 years and was among the elite group of surfers who first began riding the colossal waves at Mavericks back in the 1980s. And in his new book right here, it's called Making Mavericks, a surfing legend shares his remarkable life story, which by the way is also in the film Chasing Mavericks that stars Gerard Butler. Well, we are so excited to say that Frosty Hessen joins us here this morning. Hi, Frosty. Good morning. Oh, what a pleasure it is to have you. This is really exciting to us. And, you know, you say that you've always been really connected to the ocean, right? So is that what drew you to surfing in the first place? My parents used to take us to the beach, uh, Cowles in Santa Cruz, and I watched surfing, and it was like, that's so cool. I have to do that. <laughs> That's and your I calling. Did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, yeah. your book is called Making Mavericks. It's, it's, it's an area off of Northern California with just some, not just waves, but these are big waves. Tell us about Mavericks area and what it's like well, to surf there. Mavericks gets 30 to 60 feet, and there's been two recorded 100 foot waves that have wow. come through. And it's a unique set of storm systems, and then all the local conditions have to be right. So in the movie, you do get to see. Uh, some very significant waves, oh, raw, wow. ragged, cold, lumpy, bumpy Northern California. It's not pristine. It's not Hawaii. Right, this is right. raw and ragged and really raw. ragged. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this isn't fun in the sun. This is really dangerous stuff when you guys are out there. You're talking, would you say, 30 to 60 foot waves? Talk about Correct. adrenaline rush. Oh my goodness. Yeah, well, yeah well, it's a thrill. Yeah, so in the book, Mavericks, what do you write about that we can read? I write about my life, how I became me, which answers some of the questions that come up with the character Gerard Butler because he's a very interesting and dynamic character in the movie. Sure. And I got to meet him and hang out with him for a couple of weeks. Oh, did nice. He really, did you teach him how to surf? Does he, he surfs, right? I think I've seen some photos of him out there he, on TMZ. He surfs, like that. and um, we had a great time. I was one of a number of people that worked with him. He's so an cool. incredibly busy guy. I bet, oh, okay. I bet. As yeah. are you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you also have this relationship with this younger surfer named Jay Moriarty. Jay Moriarty, what's he about? Well, he was a young man that approached me uh, on how to improve his surfing when he was 12. So you were like a mentor to him? And so I was coaching mm -hmm. his coach, and oh, wow. then he decided, Jay decided that he would shortcut the system and just come directly to me. Nice. And so um, then. He wanted to get better at surfing, and then he wanted to improve on contest surfing. And then when he was about 14 and a half, he said, I want to do what you do. Wow. I want to ride Mavericks. Oh. That caught me by surprise. <laughs> I bet, I bet. How hard is it to jump from just, say, regular surfing, like some of the smaller waves, 5, 10 feet, to going out to something like Mavericks, where you, have to, you take boats out there, right, or jet skis to get up in the area of the waves. It's not just right off the shore. It's a half mile out. It's a solid 20-minute paddle if, no, oh, if everything wow. goes great. Okay. Paddle, so yeah. I paddled one time for an hour and a half to get out, oh, wow. and uh, I finally made it. Uh, I've been known for being a little stubborn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had to be here to tell the tale. I have to ask you this. What are some of the lessons that you mentor, you know, all the young people that you teach and you mentor, what are some of the lessons you teach them that you can share with us? Um, I'm going to be at Desert Ridge Middle School later today because okay. I enjoy reaching out to the kids. That's great. And so um, have a vision, dream, dream big, mm, and then um, prepare yourself, do the work, and you'll be amazed at what you can uh, accomplish. Well, it's like what Matt said. I mean, this is not just fun and games. This is serious business, and you have to take it seriously. You have to take it like a discipline, and you have to train properly as well. Correct. It took Jay and I a year and a half focused dedicated to get him capable for his first go out. Oh wow. And then he was prepared enough so that when he did and I selected the day, uh -huh. it was a very favorable day and um, he was just like a kid in the candy store. <laughs> Every bet. wave was so much fun and the people that were out in the water were just amazed that Number one, he was out. He was as young as what he was, and then he was being as successful as what he was. Oh, so cool. I, of course, had a big smile. I don't blame you. Well, thank you for all that you've done for all of these surfers out there. Well, people can go check you out at the bookstore tonight here in Albuquerque. You're going to be signing. Frosty Hessen's going to be signing his book, Making Mavericks. It is at Bookworks, and you're 7 o'clock there? 7 to 8, and signing uh, books, answering questions, and then there's an e-version of the book that's available at ZolaBooks.com. Okay. Awesome. Wow, what a pleasure it's been to meet you. Thank you so much for sharing your story with everybody. Thank you.